out to my school, Sam Abumosu Senior High. We are glad a stepping stone for students to reach the greater height in the future. Have the opportunity to be part of this event here at the Abomosu STEM Senior High School. This event comes at a time when many young people are in despair, wondering the kind of future that awaits them in the face of the challenges that we observe around us daily. The investment in STEM education is truly a laudable initiative and the fact that we have prioritized it despite the fiscal constraints of today is commendable hello amazing people welcome back again to hey mommy equa welcome back again to my channel i've been getting series of messages from my last video i made about stem the divisional system in ghana and i talk about the stem system whereby the government of ghana have implemented in all secondary schools in ghana and a lot of people have been saying oh you jay make a video about stem schools in ghana so i've decided to bring it up here and make a video about the school i want you guys to check out the school then we can come back and react i've climbed the mountains in montana danced in the lights of new orleans pour the rain away with me Wow, the STEM schools are beautiful. Wow. Fell in love in Minnesota. Fell apart south of Salt Lake. Colorado calls to me, and Washington will always be begging for a piece of me to stay. Maybe some things never change. the government of ghana is so intentional about the people of ghana not just the people of ghana they are so intentional about the educational system in ghana this is just one of it the government of ghana and the minister of education in ghana have decided to bring back home the stem system of education in ghana the stem system of education in ghana is a system whereby technology is being implemented in the day-to-day -day activities of students in the school and right now the students of this school are so happy that this kind of thing is in ghana and the last video i made i say a comment in the comment section someone told me that the minister of education owns a school in the u.s so he brought back that same initiative that same idea about how schools are run in the u.s and he brought it back home here in ghana and to the most surprising thing is that these schools here in ghana are well equipped some are boarding and some are non boarding I can remember back home in my own countries, I do not have access as a student back then in the JS, JHS, SHS, I do not have access to these basic technologies in school. But seeing this right now in Ghana, I'm so happy and impressed that the government of Ghana are so intentional about education in Ghana. Let's take a look at this video, then we'll come back to react on it. The country is stopping when it comes to having the STEM schools, STEM education in Ghana. Ghana. So this is what happens when you have a functioning government that are so concerned about the people, that are so concerned about education, that wants people in that particular country to be educated. That is the reason why he decided to bring the STEM system of education to Ghana schools. When I say a lot of foreigners are coming to Ghana to school, a lot of foreigners are bringing their children from different African countries, Nigeria, Kenya, Zimbabwe, Uganda, to Ghana to come to school just because the educational system in Ghana is of high standard. The standard of which the educational system right now is in Ghana is at the top. When they are talking about the STEM schools in Ghana, residents of Ghana have to like distribute some tablets to school students for them to be able to learn with this. I could remember back then there are some times that people look at Ghanaians and say, oh, Ghanaians, there is nothing good about the education. There is nothing compared to the education. We cannot compare the Ghana education to that of my country. But no, right now, a lot of people want to come and benefit from this education in Ghana. A lot of people want to bring down their kids to Ghana to come school. 
The STEM system of education is uh, something I love that the Ghana government are doing. I know a lot of you will come to the comment section and say, oh, you are trying to promote the politics. You're trying to like make the government look good. Or I'm a politician. I'm not in any way promoting any politician or promoting the government. I am stating this fact because I have seen this. This is what I have seen and this is what I have seen with my eyes and I have not experienced such kind of things back from where I am coming from. And the most surprising thing is but before then, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. Let's take a look at this video. Then we'll come back and say the most surprising thing that I have to say about the STEM system of education. Let's take a look at this video. The government of Ghana, are so, they know the future, they are seeing the future, they know what the future has to say. They know that, oh, if you should build this generation of children from the scratch, from the kindergarten, JHS to SHS, when they go out to the university, it wouldn't be so hard for them to do. That is the reason why they brought in the STEM system of education. There are some people that do not know the basic of technology. They do not know how to operate the Microsoft Word, the Microsoft Excel, or the Corel Drop. They do not have this basic idea of technology and there are some people that have not seen technology in their entire life before. But Ghana as a country have made it known, have made it like a thing for the students in this particular school to have those basic things. It is their right to have those basic things. And if you should go to some advanced countries like UK, US, you see that the way these children are being taught is different from the way Africans teach their children. And I look at myself and say, oh, Africans, I think we are backward when it comes to education. Africans are really lagging behind when it comes to education. But the government of Ghana said no. So if you're looking for a STEM school to enroll your children, you can try out this Abomusu Senior High School. It's a STEM school located in the eastern region of Ghana. Because you know these children are the future generations. This step we are making for them is to make sure when they are growing up, they will be the ones to handle the country the way we want to. So needs to, to be well equipped when it comes to technology. That is the reason why he has come to Ghana to make the STEM system to stay in the educational system in Ghana. And I applaud the government of Ghana because they are doing so, so well when it comes to education. A lot of people are trying to emulate the Ghanaian system of education. When you ask, I can remember back then in my home country, when the Ghanaians speak their English, you begin to wonder, those people are so sound. And back then, as at that time, the STEM haven't been put in place in Ghana. So imagine right now, the like, system of education have been put in place in Ghana. Just imagine how the students would be so sound and innovative. Ghanaian governments are building the future of tomorrow. So when you build the future of tomorrow or the leaders of tomorrow, expect something good to come out from that country because just imagine all the students in each 
school in its secondary school from the kindergarten, JHS, SHS are well learned. Those mountains in Montana This is the classroom of Abomosi Senior High School, the STEM school here in the Eastern region. This is how the classroom looks like and this is how they are being taught. Please have come to the end of this video. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like and share. See you in my next video. Bye.